Neuroinvasive component means that it affects your spinal cord and your brain, and that those symptoms would be headaches, neck stiffness. ER doctor Vakish Mesra says those more serious symptoms of the mosquito-carried West Nile virus can include someone being in a stupor or unable to look toward a light. And this year, the opportunity to encounter a mosquito carrying West Nile is significantly greater. The health district says last year of the 35,000 mosquitoes it trapped and checked, only 100 tested positive for West Nile. This year, we're 37,000 mosquitoes tested and already have about 6,000 mosquitoes of those that have shown to be positive. Environmental Health Supervisor Vivek Raman says the type of mosquito he's seeing more of is a prolific carrier. Culex quinca fasciatus, which is one of the mosquitoes that we find very common here. There are also, that are very good spreaders of West Nile. And so the vast majority of West Nile and St. Louis encephalitis we're seeing are coming from these mosquitoes. The very young and elderly, especially those with other health issues, are more susceptible to West Nile, but everyone should take precautions. And you want to use any of your insect repellents. You want to use proper clothing, so long sleeve clothing. <clears throat> It's also worth mentioning that uh, many of the less serious cases are likely going unreported because the people who are showing symptoms just think they have an ordinary case of the flu. Reporting live, Steve Wolford for the CW.